It was a day just like any other. A fun, casual, free-for-all match was stirring on Onet. Everyone was having the time of their lives. And then... Curious with the new weaponry, Ike waltzes over and claims his bat. One forward smash. A second one. A third, even. Ike hasn't moved from his spot, yet he's created a commanding lead. Villager has already died. Ness is on his last stock. Who can save them? A fourth hit. Ike is confused. How could his 1000 IQ strap be conquered? Shrugging it off, he goes for another swing. And it connects. And he's committed the ultimate crime. The worst possible sin a casual could commit. He broke a rolling crate. For no reason. In desperation, Ike goes for a sixth swing. It's no use. Ness has gone Ultra Instinct. Without his bat, and with extreme failure to boot, Ike gives up, deciding to play the rest of the match as normal. Little did he know, that was just the beginning. The following morning, Ike prepared to eat his breakfast, the most important meal of the day. However, when he arrived, what he saw burned his very core. Instead of his usual serving of eggs, it was cake. Ike knew this was far too many calories to start off his day, and horrible nutrition at that. Unhappy with his breakfast mishap, Ike decides to go to his anime club to relax. Perhaps they could talk about the ending of The Promised Neverland again. Or maybe Ike could showcase his new Lin body pillow. But when he arrives, his worst fear faces him. The anime club. They're... Playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ike, unable to comprehend the rules of such a game, leaves before the group can notice. Every night afterwards, Ike is harassed with nightmare after nightmare. He falls victim to a brutal item combo. A video plays on repeat of rolling crates being destroyed one after another. Some nights, he's even chased by his other greatest fear. Teletubbies. After dealing with this for weeks, Ike decides he's had enough. He resorts to the last option of peace, thus ending the cycle. <laughs>